Okay, we're going to demonstrate our advanced animated turn signals from 12 o'clock labs. Part number is AATS. First thing we're going to do is turn the key on, see what the defaults are, get our boot up pattern, and the running lights come on. You probably see a little bit of a flickering on the video, but in real life you won't see that. Same effect if you were to point your camera at a television and shoot a video, you'll see the scan lines flickering. Similar effect looking at these through video. But in reality, you won't see any type of flickering. It'll be solid. So, we'll activate our turn signal here. This is the default pattern. There's lots of patterns to choose from. There's patterns that internally sync. There's p with uh, self um, time source, and there's patterns that will sync with your flasher on the motorcycle. That one we've got set up for a regular blank. We, in reality, you would want to program these the same, but just for demonstration purposes here, we've programmed each one with a different uh, pattern. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to program these units. They have a running light, a boot pattern, and a programmable turn signal pattern. Each one of those features you can change independently. So to program the unit, all you need is a magnet from your refrigerator. We've got a magnet here. You're going to hold the magnet right to the tip of your turn signal and then you're going to turn your key on. These two outer lights signify we're in a programming mode. We're just going to wait. One flash, two flash, remove the magnet. Now what we did there was two flashes enables the running light feature. One flash disables it. So if we would have held it for one flash and then removed the magnet, we would have disabled the running lights. But we don't want to do that. We like the running lights. We're going to keep those on. So we held it for two flashes and released. The next feature we're going to program is the boot pattern. We like the boot pattern, so we're going to keep that on too. So one flash for disable, two flashes for enable. So I'm going to hold the magnet next to it again. One flash, two flash, remove the magnet. Now our boot pattern is enabled. Now we're going to select the turn signal pattern. Pattern 1 was the default pattern that we saw there. We kind of like that pattern, so we're going to keep it that way. So we're going to go ahead and program it for pattern 1, which is one flash. Just going to hold the magnet up to the device. One flash, remove the magnet, hit reboots. We'll activate the turn signal again, and there we have it. So that's it. They're very easy to program. Uh, very bright, as you can see here. They're as bright as the headlight. The brightness compensation on the camera is probably dimming the light so that you can actually see what's going on. But you can see here that these are definitely as bright as your headlight. Very, very visible, very, very bright turn signals and very visible in direct sunlight or any lighting condition.